Hey everyone, it's Sean here, your guide to Warcraft, and today we're going to be working on another Tools of the Trade item. This time it's Silas's Sphere of Transmutation for Alchemists. So, you're going to need level 120, you're going to need to have maxed your alchemy in this expansion, and then you're going to want to head to your city and do a load of quests to obtain the recipe for the Sphere of Transmutation. Once you've got the recipe, you're going to need to gather some items. So you're going to need 50 Ankleweed, 10 Expulsum, a mystical cauldron and a load of these extra dungeon items as well but we'll get to them later to start with you just need the mystical cauldron so you can't actually buy this you will have to craft this yourself as an alchemist so dependent on your rank in the mystical cauldron will depend on how many materials you need so i need three of each flask because i've got rank three in it so craft that yourself it will be a bit costly but you only need one then you want to head to Waycrest Manor on any difficulty except Mythic Plus, and you want to be able to loot the trash around the Heartsbane Triad. So you can kill the boss, but you only need one of these purposefully potent potions. That's a bit of a tongue twister for you. And I actually managed to get free to drop, so just kill the trash around the boss, and that should drop. I don't think you should have any problem with that. Then you want to head to Told the Gore and you want to get the Sly Rogues Decanter. So this is from the second boss, Jest Howlis in Told the Gore. Just go and kill him. I did it on normal. Kill him and I believe all these items, as with all the rest, really have a 100% drop rate. So just go in there, grab the item you need. And then you're going to want to head to Atoll Dazar. Same routine. You want to get the Sphere of Sangurum whatever that means, from Priestess Alunza in the Toll Desire. So there we go, there's the sphere. It's all about spheres today. And then you want to go and get an extremely precise vial from the Motherload. So just after you kill the second boss and you go down here, you have all of the, like, trash, which is all about experiments and potions. So kill them and hopefully you'll get one of these to drop. Apparently these have a lower drop rate, but I had free drop. Same with the potions from the trash. So kill the alchemists in the mother load, hope that it drops, and to be honest, I think it should drop pretty quickly. Once you have all of those items, you can now craft the sphere. So I'm going to craft it for you so you don't have to waste your materials if you find that this is not something you need. So now we have the sphere, let's get into what the sphere actually does. The first feature is that in the outside world on your mini-map, you're going to find little yellow dots. If you run to these little yellow dots, these are called boiling cauldrons. So like so, you can click one of these cauldrons out in the world and it will give you a random potion. I only seem to get healing potions, that kind of stuff. I didn't get any like major flasks and then it will disappear and you just can find these in the outside world. So it's a pretty minor thing, but something you can do while you're you know, out gathering or something. Now, the more important feature of the Sphere of Transmutation is that once an hour you can click it and it will turn into another item. So here I got the Vial of Continuous Curing and it's stuck like that for an hour. So that is just basically a healing potion that never disappears. And then when that hour cooldown's up, you can click it again and try and get something different. And this time I got the Stone of Transportation. So what that does is it gives me a teleport on a 9 minute cooldown to a lot of different places that I want to go in the zone. I don't know if it's like connected to places that have maybe flight points. I didn't really look into it too much. So you can click the eye and then you can look at a list. So I'm in Tiragard Sound. So I was like, okay, let's go to the Normington Estate. And you can see very seamless transition. No loading screen for me, at least. That was pretty cool. I thought, okay, that's, that's pretty neat. So if you do get that item for an hour and you need to quickly get around the world for whatever reason, that might be... A pretty cool item. Then after the hour cooldowns up, we try again, and this time we get Silas's Potion of Prosperity. So this is a potion that you actually drink and it will give you a buff on a 20 minute cooldown. And this will have a chance to give you extra potions when crafting with alchemy. I had an experiment myself, I couldn't really find much information on it, but I didn't actually get any procs personally. So I'm not sure how effective this one really is, but if you craft potions for your guild, or if you just craft potions to sell as your main money maker in World of Warcraft, this item may be well worth it. If you craft potions a lot, it may be worth trying to get this proc and seeing if you can craft extra potions. That might just mean some free gold. If it's really worth it for the actual cost of crafting it, that will be up to you. And lastly, you can turn this into Silas's Decanter of Disguise. So this is more of a cosmetic feature of the sphere. So this gives you... A random appearance so for example I just used it and got the appearance of an ethereal I've also gotten 
I believe, Tuskar, and I got in the... From the Shrine of the Storms, you have, like, the Tide Sage Old God tentacle-faced guys. I've gotten one of them, so you get a lot of, like, the new cosmetic appearances. I thought the Ethereal one was pretty cool, so... This one is purely up to you as an alchemist. If you want cosmetic appearances, free teleports, potions in the world, or just straight up using it to try and yield extra items when crafting for alchemy, it's up to you. But it is quite a high cost item in terms of all that anchor weed. So that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Links are down below. I'll see you next time.